you're probably familiar with decentralized credentials. You most likely have one of those in your wallet or one or more of them. They are physical identity systems where there are issuers of those credentials who uh, give you a, a card or a, um, a driver's license, a passport, uh, medical insurance uh, identity card. Those types of things allow you to have in your possession something that is a uh, transfer of knowledge from the issuer to you. And then you can present that information to businesses to say, yes, I am a trustworthy resident of the state. Uh, therefore, allow me to uh, purchase this because I'm old enough. I can show you because it's on my driver's license. You trust the driver's license because it mostly is uh, um, not hackable or it takes a fair amount of effort to hack the, my driver's license and therefore you trust that the information has been reliably delivered. Decentralized identity systems, they work in a manner that's very similar to physical credentials. Instead of having a uh, piece of plastic that uh, has a logo or something embossed in it to help, uh, or a hologram on it, to help add trust to it. They come with cryptography and a digital mechanism for uh, transferring that information securely. Um, one of the neat aspects of it is that the uh, holder of the credential is still the person in charge of taking that data from a trusted issuer, holding it, and then presenting it in some fashion to a business or to someone else who needs to verify that information. Indicio has set up a uh, system of verifiable credentials based on the Hyperledger Indy uh, code base. Hyperledger Indy is the original source of the, the model that Sovereign uses. It's the model for a, a number of other ledgers as well. But that, that code base um, has a purpose-built ledger and associated technology stack that goes with it to support these decentralized uh, credentials. In terms of the uh, code architecture, the Indy, um, Hyperledger Indy plugins exist with Indy Node and Plenum performing the, the, uh, um, the basic uh, backbone work of the ledger the cryptography library supporting all of the, the components that need cryptography and other projects that support it. On the agent side of the stack, you have an indie resolver that knows how to talk to the ledger. You have the SDK that allows for higher level uh, functions to be built, such as building a credential. You have the different agent, the Hyperledger Ares agents. And then there's apps that are built on top of those agents, both enterprise and mobile apps. When you look at where the standards uh, efforts are in decentralized identity and what's happening there, the most active community and the most successful community is, is built around Hyperledger. It has the largest number of contributors. I think we're in the 250 um, range of uh, number of contributors on the Aries, Ursa, and Indy projects. These are all related and help put together the, the functionality that you need to have a full stack of uh, of uh, interoperable agents and uh, be able to issue, hold, and verify credentials in a very secure way. Um, the ARIES and URSA solution support zero knowledge methods, including uh, selective disclosure, predicate proofs. Predicate proofs are where you say, show that uh, my age is greater than uh, 21. I don't have to reveal my age, but I can use a predicate style. Um, a comparison to show that uh, a, either a number is greater than another number or within a certain range. Do you think what markets might be benefiting from this? Um, I put in a list of four of them that I think are heavily uh, impacted, but every single uh, market that has some type of identity in it, every website, will probably be affected. The benefits are the user control of identity, the strong verification of it, and the cryptography that's involved with it, 
it cuts down on the fraud and uh, in the financial markets alone, this is uh, sufficient to, to warrant the deployment of these um, decentralized identities to cut down on the massive expenses that are uh, put to, toward avoiding fraud and remediating fraud once it's occurred. 